M0FXB, welcome to my channel about the best DMR radios 2021 stroke 2022. We're now in uh, virtually December 21. So I thought, well, why not? Let's title it 2022 by the time you order it and receive them. It could be the new year. So, so many to choose from. So let's just go one at a time. I'm going to go with the, the budget ones first, I think. So... Uh, this one, I think, is an absolute bargain. It's the Bopunk DMR1702. It's dual band. Currently available now. Free delivery in the UK, 39.99. Now, they only this radio will only hold about 10,000 contacts So, um, in the database. So just what does that mean? It means you can add this file into the radio. So when someone is talking, you can see more information, DMR number, call sign, even address. Uh, and other info slot color code etc so you can store these but you have to sort of fine tune what you're storing and keep it under 10,000 because it will clog the radio up anyway so the other uh, very good thing about this budget uh, radio is that it's got GPS if uh, it's dual band VHF UHF and it will receive on the you know a and main and sub band but not at the same time only one at a time so I think it's if you're just starting out and you want to have a dabble using a, a programming software and learning about DMR, I think this is a, a great budget choice uh, and an excellent price. Uh, and I've got one of these. Uh, my, my choice is just not even to put the CSV file on there. But anyway, let's move over. So let's have a look at the next budget one that I was looking at. That's the GD77S and the GD77. I think they're both good choices. There is some special firmware for the GD77, but you don't really need it. And again, this is one of those radios that holds about 10,000 contacts, pretty much the same kind of thing. Dual band VHF, UHF, and I think you can get them even cheaper than £70 with discount vouchers. Uh, it's a nice looking uh, basic device and will work very well on analog FM and and DMR. So I think it's a good choice to go for. And if, if some people prefer screenless, you just program them. Yeah, you get you need your cable, two pin cable, and then you just put all the information and then you turn the channel and, and you know that each channel number has a, has a DMR contact. So I think that's a, a nice, simple one. To choose now, the bit more super duper is the uh, Alens HD1. This has proved to be a very popular radio. They've got new firmware on it, so they've uh, they've ironed out some of the complaints. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a hundred thousand database, so that's a, a lot better. But bear in mind that the current database is two hundred thousand or more. But it's still a very nice radio, <laughs> VHF UHF dual band radio, and it will receive. Uh, apparently digital on one band and um, analog FM on the other band. Now, whether it does it at the same time, um, I'll believe that uh, if I tested it, but I haven't actually got one of those radios. But look at all these functions, DMR, dual time slot. You've got promiscuous function, ID settings, firmware upgradable, Lone work IP67 dual time slot and lots of other features. So I've seen lots of reviews on this radio and generally people like it. It's got the Motorola style. It's a real solid performer, nice loud speaker, uh, nice size screen and it changes color, which I think is appealing. You have the uh, red and green colors come up. And I just think it's, I, I, I think it's a good radio. The code plug, I've used the code plug. It seems quite straightforward. So there's another one I recommend, Alens HD1. The price is a bit high, you know, 150, 160 pounds in the UK. Now the classic one is the MD380. So we've all heard of this radio. Probably one of the first um, majorly available DMR radios. Now you can get them um, dual band like the RT3S and the MD380 UV, but I find that that makes it a bit more complicated with the code with the uh, code plug and you can't use what they call TYT tools and our TYT tools is a free sort of firmware that sort of download that you can uh, use which allows a lot more functionality and there's a there's a procedure here I'll put the link in the description 
of upgrading that firmware, and then you get you basically get a lot more control. You can um, p you can direct dial DMR. You get m much more information on the screen, and so much more. And so check it out. So the MD three eighty, if you want a very functional budget DMR radio. I, I do recommend it with TYT tools and then watch a video on TYT tools to understand what I mean. Um, it, it, it almost, it's, it's almost like giving you a, a new radio. So we've got this one here. I've never used this one. It has 100,000 contacts, I believe. BTEC DMR. It's similar to the Anytone radios, uh, but it's just a different... I, it's not one I've seen very often in the UK, but I think in America, in the USA, they, these, are, these, are, these are, you know, used quite a lot. So there's a BTEC here, DMR6 times 2, VHF, UHF, GPS. I'm uh, pretty sure it's, uh, it says it here somewhere uh, that it was, oh, here it is there, 200,000 contacts. So that's got to be good, hasn't it? So it's like the eight, Anytone 878. Let me just check which one. Oh, yeah. Now, so let's have a look at the Anytone range. Now, the Anytone range, there is one that's discontinued called the 868. Now, you can still get these really cheap in the, in the UK under a hundred pounds second hand and i think they are probably for a hundred pound your best choice of a dmr radio i think the contacts are, are more like a hundred thousand but the ver just the versatility of this radio vhf uhf it's loud sound long life battery nice color screen um it's just a very i think it's a very very good radio for, for the price um, second hand but regarding new uh, the latest one out at the moment is the Anytone 878 UV plus which basically has 500,000 contacts Bluetooth GPS APRS receive and transmit so really this is the best if you ask me amateur radio uh, DMR radio on the market uh, and I'm not mentioning Hytera and Motorola because to me they're in a different league. They're more professional radios. Uh, although some of these amateur radios now do work in, in professional mode. So to me, the number one radio, the winner of the of this video is definitely the Anytone 878UV Plus 2. 100%, no doubt about that in my mind at all. But the other choices you can get with them are uh, you can get the 878UV Plus, which has, I think, I think it's 250,000 contact database and still has the Bluetooth. You can get the 878 UV, same contacts, but no, no Bluetooth. So the prices obviously are stepping down as we talk. Now, the other one I thought I'd mention is the 578 mobile radio, because I think it, most ham operators like to have a base station for each mode. And that's just, in this case, DMR. So if you want, if you want a really good DMR base station go for the 578 UV uh, the pro version I'm guessing is going to have more contacts I've looked down here to see if it says it has it 200,000 but who knows possibly they're going to upgrade that to 500,000 check it out I mean I'm just looking at this now so you know I think these in the UK are about 340 pounds and I, I, I think look at the microphone that's a very nice DMR base station mobile radio so there you go. That's my sort of summary of the DMR radios that are going to be available 2022 that I think are worth buying. So really, the, the last choice is for you to decide rather than me. But these are the ones that everyone's using and looking at. I've tested out quite a few of these myself. And my go-to radio is the Anytone 878 UV2+. Plus. So I hope this helps you make your choice and you find it interesting i'll put some links in the description and I, hopefully I'm, I'm the first person on dmr video uh, blogs to say happy new year 2020 2022 73 all the best